Hi there, ready to install your Z6955 series faucet system? Excellent. I'll walk you through the steps and throw in a few tips to save you some time and labor along the way. But before we do that, your 6955 faucet should include these parts. Here are some of the recommended tools for installation. Okay, let's get started. Step 1. First, shut off both the hot and cold water supply valves. If you have an existing faucet, test it to make sure the water is fully shut off and then uninstall the faucet. Step 2. Ensure the sink deck is clear, clean, and free of debris. Step 3. Prep the faucet by installing the aerator. Install the aerator into the spout using the key. If necessary, use water as lubricant to prevent damage to the aerator o-ring. Step 4. Thread the two mounting studs all the way into the base plate of the faucet. Step 5. Run the sensor cable, spout shank, and mounting studs through the black base gasket. Then run the sensor cable, spout shank, and studs through the holes in your sink deck. Gently rest the faucet and gasket on the sink. Step 6. Install the shank hardware as shown here. Be sure that the sensor cable runs freely through the cutout in the black spacer. Hand tighten the brass nut and check that the faucet spout and gasket are properly positioned. Step 7. Install a washer and nut onto each mounting stud under the sink deck, finger tight. Then tighten the brass nut and the mounting stud nuts to a snug fit with your wrench. Step 8. Using the provided Allen wrench, remove the battery tray from the black electronics module and load in the AA batteries. Then reinstall the battery tray. Step 9. Connect the black electronics module directly to the spout shank below the sink deck, making sure the black O-ring is within the hex nut adapter. Using your wrench, tighten to a snug fit. Step 10. If you have a new or existing mixing valve or T, attach it to the bottom portion of the electronics module. If you don't have a new or existing mixing valve or T, you'll use the L-filter that was included with the Zern faucet to adapt to the electronics module. Using your wrench, tighten to a snug fit. Step 11. Once all the components are assembled and tight, ease the hot and cold water stop valves back on to fully open. Step 12. Connect the sensor cable to the electronics module cable. You'll hear a click letting you know the connection was performed. Step 13. Allow 15 to 30 seconds and then activate the faucet by placing your hand in front of the sensor. At this point, the faucet will begin its self-calibration sequence. Do not wave anything in front of the sensor while the calibration sequence occurs. Allow one minute. Step 14. Test the faucet with your hands to ensure the sensor is calibrated. Well, that's it. I hope you found this installation video helpful. If you encountered issues, you can reach out to Zern's expert team for support. Call 1-855-1-ZERN. Check out our library of how-to videos on our YouTube channel.